Hi, it's Angry Admin here, and what I have for you today is certificate management in vSphere 7. Let's get on to it. You may ask, but why Angry? Why certificate management? And the reason why is because they changed it in vSphere 7. So what they did, they add GUI management for certificate, and I'll show you how to do it. We all know this picture. Now it's a lot of easier for the admins or junior admins to manage certificate. Okay, to get to GUI, we are going to many and administration. And then we go to certificates and certificate management. And this is your place to manage certificates. You can see there's a machine certificate. There's a, there is your trust root certificates. If you have a look on the details of current certificate, you see it's valid until April 3rd, 2022. And you can access those details by clicking view details on that certificate management panel. Uh, but we are interested in actions. We can see those three actions, renew, import and replace certificate and CSR, generate CSR. So if you want to renew, just click on the renew. And there's a very important information. After the certificate is renewed, vCenter will reboot. Okay, so you will lose access to your VC. Let's click it. And the process started, and we see it will kick me out in a few seconds from the VC. There you are. So now the process is running background, and we have to wait until vCenter will be available again. So I will speed up the process a bit for you guys. So we are back, and now Let's just check how that certificate looks like now. So we're clicking to view details and there you can see that it's now valid to the 31st of March, uh, 2023. Now let's see how to uh, use the option number two, which is import and replace certificate. So we, again, we have a few options over here. Uh, we can replace with VMCA certificate. We can replace with certificate generated from vCenter server. And we can replace with external CA. So we're going with the first option, replace with VMCA certificate. And we have to fill out the form, like common name, organization, organization unit, country, etc. Standard thing. And once we have everything in place, we click replace. <laughs> and again, we center will restart. So it will take a few minutes. It might take up to 10 minutes according to VMware. And we have to just wait. And we are back. And the last option I want to show you is generate CSR. Again, we have a standard form, the form you all know and love so much. And we're going to all the fields. And now, once we're happy with everything, we click on Next. And now we have our CSR generated. So what we need to do, we just scroll down and download that. And once we download, we can present to our certificate authority for the cert. Um, once we're happy with that, just click Finish. And we are done. In any case, guys, this is everything what I have for you today. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below the video. And see you in the next one.